Brown recluse spiders can hurt you. You probably know this. But there are a lot of things you might not know about them. The biggest misconception people have about the brown recluse is that it is widespread in North America. Here's a map of the places where breeding populations have been found. So if you live outside of the brown area, you live outside the range of the brown recluse. For those of you outside the range, let me anticipate some of your objections. Number one, but I've seen a brown recluse in my house. It had the fiddle mark and everything. There are a lot of spiders with fiddle-shaped marks, like the southern house spider and the cellar spider, both of which are harmless. Also, no offense, but the public's ability to accurately identify spiders is laughable. Unless you're an expert, or you were less than two feet away when you saw it, you should take rogue brown recluse sightings with a grain of salt. If you think you have a recluse in your house, carefully capture it in a jar, take a picture, and post it to my Facebook page. Actual specimens outside the range are very rare and valuable to scientists. Number two, but a doctor or veterinarian said it was a brown recluse bite. The medical community is notorious for blaming spiders. The list of conditions that have been diagnosed as brown recluse bites includes bacterial, fungal, and viral infections, necrotizing vascular diseases, topical injuries, and many more. One of the most common is MRSA. Since the vast majority of spider bite victims don't remember being bitten, these diagnoses are irresponsible. Shame on you, medical community. Number three. Oh yeah? But what if a brown recluse crawled into a box in Kansas, and the box got loaded into a truck that drove to my state, and then the spider crawled out of the box and bit someone? This is a rational, logically defensible scenario. Single specimens are collected from time to time, usually dead, in trailers and boxes that travel over state lines. On the west coast, for example, a dozen or so brown recluses have been collected and identified by professionals over the last 20 years. Compare that to the locations where physicians and veterinarians have diagnosed brown recluse bites in the Pacific states. If recluses are biting this many people, where are the spiders? Also, no breeding population of brown recluses has ever been found outside of their range. Any other objections? Post them in the comments section. And like I said, if you really do find recluses outside of their range, it's important that they are reported to the proper authorities. Your local state university or extension center are good places to start. Or like I said, you can take a picture and post it to my Facebook page. Remember, a squashed spider is much harder to identify. Also remember, you're the giant with the big brain, so when it comes down to you and the spider, you're the one in control of the situation. Keep calm, capture the spider, and look at the map. If you're outside of the brown zone, it's probably not a brown recluse. This has been a public service announcement by Quawar Power.